Okay, here goes nothing. We're doing lesson 86 or 87 today. Of the objectives are use fraction manipulatives or pictures to divide fractions. And in pay, on page 565, this lesson starts. Um, make sure you're following along. Make sure that you're writing down any questions that you have, and and we can answer them tomorrow. Uh, hopefully, this works, and we can give it a shot for a little while. Okay, so on page 565. The new concept says, in this lesson, we'll, we will use fraction manipulatives and make sketches to help us divide fraction. First, let us think about what dividing fraction means. Okay, on page 5 to 66, it shows 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. 3 fourths divided by 1 eighth. Okay, the expression above means how many one-eighths are in three-fourths. That is, how many one-eighth slices of pizzas, slices of pizza are in three-fourths of a pizza. Using manipulatives, we place three-fourths on our desks, or in this case, on our Promethean board. Okay, each little slice represents one-fourth. How many three, or how many one-eighths fall in this three-fourths? Well, if we divide each one in half, each one represents one eighth. Okay, and then basically we count how many one eighth slices are in three fourths, and we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Three fourths divided by one eighth is equal to six. Now, I guess the way to do this, yes, you can use fraction manipulatives, but we're going to work on something a little bit more advanced. Okay, and I don't expect you to understand it right away, but I do expect you to try it and, and try to work with it. Okay, now this first term, three fourths, when dividing fractions, it doesn't stay the same, or it stays the same, but this one doesn't. Okay, this one we use the reciprocal when dividing fractions. Okay, and if we use the reciprocal, that means that the numerator goes to the denominator, and the denominator goes to the numerator. And then this sign switch, switches from division to multiplication. Now we get 3 times 8, we get 24. 4 times 1, we get 24 over 4. This is another way of writing 24 divided by 4, and 4 goes into 24 6 times. Okay, now you can do it either way. You can use the, you can use the reciprocal. This is more of an advanced way of doing this. Um, or you can draw out your pictures or using those manipulatives that we have and you can divide them up accordingly. Okay, let's look at number or example number one at the bottom of page five, 566. How many one-eighths are in one-half? And when you hear that, how many one-eighths are in one-half? Okay, how many one-eighths are in one-half? Well, they show drawing the semicircle, one half of a circle, and splitting that up into eighths. Well, how many eighths are in one half? Think about it. Um, what, what fraction with eight in the denominator is equal to one half? Well, there are four. Okay? There are four one eighths in one half. Now, if we'd like to do that the more advanced way, we have one half. We switch our sign from division to multiplication. We use the reciprocal of 1 eighth, which is 8 over 1. And we get 1 times 8 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. Now we know that 8 divided by 2 is 4. Again, either way you do this is acceptable. I'm not going to be really picky about that, especially for the first few times we try this. Example number two says divide three fourths by one fourth. Okay, how many one fourths are in three fourths? Okay, there are. This is our three fourths. Now we split that up into one fourth parts, and there are how many one fourths and three fourths? There are three. If we'd like to do that the reciprocal way, three fourths. Switch division to multiplication. Use the reciprocal when di dividing fractions. 
and we get 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Okay, understanding that whichever way you do it, you can get the correct answer. All right, example number three. One divided by one third. How many one thirds are in one whole? So if we draw our one whole and we split it up into one thirds, how many of them are there? Well, I see that there are three. Okay, now if I took and I multiplied Okay, now I'm using the reciprocal of one-third, which is three over one. Remember that if you use the reciprocal, this division side needs to become multiplication sign. If we have one whole part, you can, you can show it like this. All right, one times three is three. One times one is one. Three divided by one is three. All right, at the bottom of page 567, it says, we can use the image of a clock face to help us sketch models for 12 and 6. We draw a circle and make 12 tick marks where the numbers 1 through 12 are positioned. To show 12ths, we draw segments from the center of the circle to each of the tick marks. To show 6, we draw segments only to the tick marks for 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. All right, example number four. Make a sketch to show the division of one-fourth divided by one-twelfth. Okay, how many one-twelfths are in one-fourth? Well, we know that one-fourth is represented by one-quarter of this circle. Okay, how many twelfths represent this? this section, one-fourth. Well, they want us to they want us to show our division by putting those 12 tick marks. That's just to represent 12 parts on this whole. Okay? Um, obviously this is 12, 3, 6, and 9 on, on our clock. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And now we can split this up into our twelfths by connecting these lines. Okay, now the question is how many twelfths, how many one twelfths are in one fourth? Well, we can see here that there are three. Okay, one fourth divided by one twelfths. How many one twelfths are in one fourth? We see that there are. 3. Okay, if we want to show that using our reciprocal, okay, we switch the division sign to multiplication, we flip the numerator and the denominator, we get 1 times 12 is 12, 4 times 1 is 4, 12 divided by 4 is 3. And again, we get the same answer that we had before. All right, um, now let's do the practice problems. It says, make sketches to solve problems A through B. How many one-sixths are in one-half? Okay, how many one-sixths are in one-half? Okay, again, if we want to use the reciprocal, we can. Division to multiplication. We use the reciprocal by putting the numerator in the denominator and the denominator in the numerator. We get one times six is six. Two times one is 2, 6, divided by 2 is 3. The question said to make sketches to solve these problems. So I'm going to draw my perfect circle. Um, we've got to see how much is represented by 1 half. So the first step is to split it in 1 half. Maybe even shade that half to represent that this is the half that we're dealing with. Okay, now we need to make a sketch to represent that. Okay, so here, to show six, remember you draw your 12 tick marks on the clock face. 
make lines at from two, four, and that's it. So now we have six equal parts. Um, we see that there are three six in one half. Okay. Practice problem B. Practice problem B says how many one twelfths are in one third. Again, using the reciprocal. One third division switches to multiplication. Um, using the reciprocal, the de denominator goes to numerator. Numerator goes to denominator. One times twelve is twelve. Three times one is three. Twelve divided by three is four. Okay, we do need to draw our sketch. Okay, first, I'd like to split it up into thirds. Okay, now, using our our clock face to represent those tick marks. Okay, this is the one third that's represented right here. Now we're splitting it up into twelfths. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to start over. Okay, I have my circle. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now connect these to represent our twelfths. Hopefully your sketches are a little bit neater than mine, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve total parts. How many twelfths are in one third? Well, I can see here that there are one, two, three, four twelfths in my one third. Again, that matches up with the answer that we got before. Okay. Um, I'm going to do practice problem C through or C and D. I'm going to do those using the reciprocal method. We have two-thirds divided by two-thirds. Okay, how many two-thirds are in two-thirds? Um, we have two-thirds. We switch this sign to multiplication, and we use the reciprocal. Two-thirds becomes three-halves. Two times three is six. Three times two is six. We know that six-six is equal to one. Um, practice problem, let's go with E. Two thirds divided by one third. How many one thirds are in two thirds? Well, we know that two thirds, we switch our division to multiplication. We use reciprocal, three over one. We get two times three is six. Three times one is three. Six divided by three is two. There are two one thirds in two thirds, which kind of makes sense if you think about it. Here we have. Two thirds, okay, two of the three parts, sorry, yes, two of the three parts are shaded. How many one thirds are in those two thirds? Well, there are two of them. Okay, if you have any questions, of course, write them down, bring them to me tomorrow, um, and we'll do the homework in class on Thursday, Wednesday, correct, Wednesday. So have a good night, I'll see you tomorrow.